one thing we really wanted to, to do at, at the start is deliver on a great player fantasy. And as we started diving, we had two emerging player fantasies that were awesome, the Shinobi and the Samurai. What we didn't want is try to dilute them into one fantasy. We really wanted to explore both sides. So that's something where we said, well, we need two characters. The setting that we had, the Isuchi Momoyama period in feudal Japan, was in such a nuanced time. So it was really interesting to be able to work with dual protagonists and develop these two characters as individuals because we really had the opportunity to explore this era by playing off these two different perspectives. As we worked our way through it and, and came up with a dual protagonist, it became very clear that Nawe is the stealth character and Yasuke is the fight character. Speed and agility on one side, then brawn and strength on the other. They differ in every possible way we could make them differ. Our shinobi, Nawe, is the imagined daughter of a legendary Egan shinobi, Fujibayashi Nagato. And up until this point, she's actually been quite protected from a lot of the horrors of war that, that have been going on in other parts of Japan. So this is going to be her first real taste of, of what lies beyond, and it has a profound impact on her. I wanted to have the stealth as a, a core pillar in the Assassin's Creed Shadows. Player will recognize the, the classic Assassin's Creed experience in Nawe, but we're adding a lot of things that make her super unique, so she's the best assassin ever. We wanted Nawe to be extremely fast, efficient, acrobatic. We've worked a lot to make sure that she has the coolest, most spectacular parkour we could give her. She can squeeze in tight corners, she can go prone, meaning that the character can go underbelly and just crawl around in the dirt and disappear from view. We really wanted to leverage all the light elements that come with our new tech and use it in a core way for our shinobi fantasy specifically. So what that means, at night, you have to read the environment and hide in the pockets of shadows that are cast naturally in the world. And that affects how NPCs can see you and if they can sense you at all. What we want the player to experience is the feeling of being the predator. So you feel like a ninja, you can break light, you can vanish in the shadows, and you're flipping on roof with the physics-based grappling hook, so the stealth is more rich than ever, and you really feel that she's like a blade in the shadows. Yasuke is our first historical protagonist in Assassin's Creed. What we know about Yasuke historically is just a bit, but it was enough to get the team really excited about the opportunity to work with him as a character. He can fight his way out of anything, but he's also super smart and can think his way through things equally as well, and is going to be somebody who always has a commanding presence. So especially in combat, when we think about Yasuke, it's really about dictating how the fight will go. And to do so, we created a mechanic called the posture attack. So he can chamber an attack, and then he can launch that attack to do massive amount of damage and take out anyone. Yasuke is very, very strong. He can barge through reinforced doors, he can lift heavy objects that Naoi can't, but that means that he's somewhat slowed down compared to Naoi. Mm. That hurts. On the ground, that's where he shines. have uh, two characters who have such different gameplay styles. So for every situation, every gameplay moment you're going to encounter, you really need to think through everything uh, from these two perspectives. Blood must be paid in blood, Yasuke. We always want to respect player choice, so you can do quests with any character. So if you are Yasuke, you play with his strength, but also with his weakness. Same for Naoi. Each character has their own skill trees, but also they can master the different weapons. So it's not just about stats, it's about the player competency to really understand how the different mechanic works. They have different speeds, they have uh, different HP, they have different gear sets, so they're very unique uh, and they're a great balance of two player fantasies. The most exciting part of having our dual protagonist is the distinction and the fact that they don't really overlap. Narratively, they have common goals and they are aligned on what they want to do, but the way they go about it is drastically different. 
Sometimes, playing that way, even if you're very good, you'll hit a wall and some enemy is gonna kick your ass and you go, you know what, let me switch. And the same is true for Yasuke. Sometimes you'll get a set up, a couple enemies are high on rooftop that you cannot quite reach and having to go, you know what, let me switch back to Naoi. And having this push-pull that players get to experience of which characters is good in what situation, it gives us lots of levers to play with and try to break the mold, I think is the most fantastic thing we've achieved with our dual protagonist from a gameplay perspective.